This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2014. I have the great pleasure of being here with Yoni. Yoni, what's up? Um, fine, thank you. So when I say the Para drone, the Para AR drone, people typically think of your big guy with the, the big foam stuff around the rotors that you can fly around indoors and annoy your cat with. What is this guy? This is mini drone from Para. So we, we could say it's the a condense of the technology from the drones that we placed into that small drone. Okay, and so uh, what is powering this? Are these what, what like 20 by 8 uh, uh, brush motors here or, or what? Yeah, that's actually 20 by 8 uh, brush motors and uh, we've, we've designed the propulsion system and our own propellers to, to make it fly. So the thing that, uh, that you guys are known for is your ability to loiter and stay in a place because you have a, a very unique take on your uh, stabilization system. Can you tell me about how that might apply to the Mini? So it's, uh, we have the Axero and Gyro, so um, as quite a standard six axis. And um, we have a barometer also and an ultrasonic sensor for the altitude. So it makes it very precise. It's, you don't have to care about the altitudes at all. And we also have a virtual camera that's tracking dot on the ground to, make, to measure the speed of the drone to make the hovering very, very precise. Is it a 3D camera or is it one CCD or what are we looking at? It's a, it's a, a simple VGA camera. Okay. And so is, does this guy, like the other uh, drones from Barrett, provide uh, first person view? No, not this one. We only, that, we only provide, uh, we can take snapshots with our bottom camera. Oh, so you can get a 640 by 480 snapshot of the your cat from above. Actually, we can take QVJ snapshots here. That's cool. And um, and so, what about the battery life? I saw that this is running a single cell. It's a single cell, 500 uh, milliamp per hour. And what kind of flight time are you going to get with that? We're going to get up to seven to eight minutes with that. And what is this unique cage? I, I honestly have not seen this in a micro quad. So. These are wheels, actually, that you can remove. Um, but when you place them on, you could actually land on the floor and actually roll on the floor, roll on the walls and on the ceiling. So it's a new, new approach for a new way to use your quad rotor helicopter, right? So, so rather than uh, rotor guards, you actually provide a means of like adding more fun, and you can like quickly take off and land without having to worry about your orientation. Yeah, well, um, you, it's also a protection, you know, it, 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 it prevents it from uh, banging on the walls and, uh, well, you can just, um, you can just uh, roll on the floor when you want and when you're tired, you just take off. And so does this, does this uh, the wheels, does this add a lot of weight? A little bit, around uh, 8 to 10 grams uh, to, the, to the stuff, so it will, uh, you, will, uh, you, you can fly with it like up to 6 minutes. Six minutes of battery out of the 500 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm just in awe because this seems like the perfect travel kit. Uh, while it is slightly uh, larger in, um, in distance from rotor to rotor than some of the other micro quads on the market, uh, what's really nice and what you guys have done a great job of doing is augmenting the user such that you can actually control it realistically over your iPhone or your Android, whereas, say, with a Wakara or something, you're just going to go slamming into a wall. Uh, is this iPhone, Android, and how do you do that? It, it, will, it will be iPhone and Android, and we, we, we communicate with the drone over a Bluetooth 4 connection. And um, so we just, uh, we just use our knowledge about the, the, the quad rotor helicopter to, to make it the flight experience very simple. So if it's over Bluetooth, what kind of... Um, you know, range and what kind of throughput are you getting with that? We can uh, we can have a 30 meter range, yeah, pretty pretty easily, and we have a, a pretty good latency for the for the commands. So that was a pretty challenging. Will this work outdoors? It would work outdoors, yeah. Well, you won't you won't take it into windy conditions. Right. I mean, a five mile an hour gust would probably blow this thing over, right? <laughs> probably. But would it carry a, say a 20 gram payload? No, no, you couldn't no wait that. No, no wait at all? Okay. Well, still, this is a very promising, uh, uh, I hope, first of many minis from Parrot. Where can they find more information? When is it available? What kind of price point are we talking? So it will be available this year, and uh, we don't have any price yet. Yet. All right. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.
For continued coverage of all things CES 2014, head over to revision3.com slash CES. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.